So um, somebody had posted a question about how do you do all this uh, with the 8170, FI-8170, how do you do the um, uh, capturing when you do not have the um, uh, software available? So for example, um, if you do a download here and you select the 8000 and you go to the 8170 and you select a Windows 11, for example, you're gonna get this paper stream software, right? But if you go back, and you select the 8000 and you do the 8170 and you select a Mac like mine, Sonoma 14, you're only gonna get two files. You're gonna get the scanner driver and you're gonna get the user's guide. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to get the scanner driver, so just download it, right? And you're gonna tell it you wanna use it with image capture, image capture, which, let me move this over here, image capture is the free program. Uh, let me let me quote it here because I was using it early. It's the free program that comes with the Mac. It's right here. Okay, so just say you're going to capture with image capture, and then you click download. And I've already downloaded this twice. My I've been, I've made this video three times, but my system crashed. So I'm like having to do it again. So once it downloads, you're going to see this file right here, and you're just going to double click it and install it. I'm not going to do it again because it keeps erroring out because I've already got it installed. But once it's installed, assuming that you know how to install a program, which you should, um, once you've got it installed, uh, you could close this. Well, I'll leave that up for now. Uh, you will go to your applications, and, oops, and you will find uh, right here, image capture, okay? And when image capture opens, uh, you're gonna see the 8170 listed right here. So 8170, because it's plugged in, you just did the drivers. So you're good to go. So now here's the settings that you would use and then we'll run a test scan, okay? So first of all, let me clear out my folder because I wanna make sure that the test scans that we run are new. So let me go to test scan here. Okay, test scan is empty, so that's perfect. So I'm gonna tell it, I want to test scan. Uh, I want to start here, color, 300 DPI. Uh, size, size you really can't mess with right now. Um, so we're just gonna do duplex. And I think this is actually the right setup as far as the orientation of the cards I'm gonna scan. And then I'm gonna to go to other here for where I'm gonna to scan to. And I'm gonna select the folder test scan. Uh, the file name is gonna be scan and then the number after it. Uh, JPEG is the format. Image correction will be none. Cropping will be for accuracy emphasis. Multi-feed is gonna be off for detection. Pre-pick is on. Dropout color is none. Text clarity none. Tone adjustment normal. Blank page skip, I don't care, and scan button, that doesn't matter either. So this is ready, okay? So now here's what's gonna happen. Um, you're gonna basically, I'm gonna use the same eight cards, or, or I think it's eight, I've been using all day in my videos, so let me put that in here. And I'm just gonna kinda sit here and use my left hand here to click scan. Okay, there's eight cards, and you will now see them on the screen here. Right, see them? orientation was right they've been automatically cropped and then they will also now be in my test scan folder which should be uh, let me see right here okay so I can close this down and here are the files that we scan so if I hit the space bar you will now see that one two oops I didn't mean to open that that opened somewhere else uh, three so it starts here actually this is scan one and then I don't, I don't know why they uh, do it like this, but let me put a zero after it. They should put it at the top. All right, scan zero, and then one, two, three, uh, four. Okay, so it's, you, you get the point. They're numbering it like this, front and back, and then you're done. And you could take these and actually import them then into a uh, chrono card or whatever you want to import them to. But that's how it works. If you're not gonna use any other software, and to be honest with you, image capture is free. It's with a Mac. All you need is to download that driver, and you're good to go. Um, so hopefully that helps you. That's I think that pretty much answers the question you were asking. If you have any other questions, let me know. I do use a Mac, a Mac Studio over here. Um, and then over there, I use a Windows PC. Um, most of my scanning is done on a Windows PC because of the limitation of the Mac with the software from Fujitsu. All right, guys, God bless, be safe, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care, bye.